Gilbert and nakikita natin, ramdam natin eh, how Coach Gilbert really embraces this team as their dad and giving opportunities to the players to grow, especially stretch run niya yun, Dre. Well, Gael Montano having nine points at that uh, first round meeting back in uh, September 30th and also in their uh, last game against Benilde, Montano is also, uh, well, only scored two points in that one. He started as well. Perpetual ang nakapute. LPU ang nakapula. Our officials, you saw earlier, Harry Santos is our crew chief. Our only international referee for this particular game, Jeff Ablola and Yamin Alap rounding up our officiating trio and both Jeff Ablola and Yamin Alap, our national referees. Fuentes attacking to start. Perpetual. Well, you setting up their defense. So, Inok Valdez. Yan ang sasandigan nila, Andrea. Their pesky defense and transition offense. And then they set up that zone press in the second round. Yun yung nagbigay sa kanila ng panalo against St. Neil. Now, they were behind throughout that ball game. Good start for Gael Montano putting LPU now on the board. Just 40 seconds elapsing. Meanwhile, that stroke, that shot is smooth. Pangakay John Abyss, he ties the game up at two apiece. Again, going into that pinch post action ng sideline triangle. Triple post offense. Ang ganda ng curl. Curl to bust out dito ni Jun Roque on that situation. Kaya nabigyan din ng pagka-reverse pivot nito ni Abyss. May space na siya to take that shot. Gusto niya yan eh. Comfortable siya at that medium range. 15 to 18 feet. Omega. She's an open Netura for three. Who misses. And look at Kunanan going downhill. Missing on that one. Good block by Abyss from behind. Roque attacks inside to Omega, tap by a Pirate. And here come the Pirates again. Bagay na bagay yung pace natin sa linggo, Dre, up and down. <laughs> and it is just the second game of this triple header. Earlier, Benil won by 10, officially sending the stacks home and out of the Final Four contention. Taka naman mamaya. Snap action. Bede Mapua, meanwhile, Umali's jumper is a miss. Who all is the score? And two teams that really rely defend on their defensive schemes. Because hey, Perpetual is the number one defensive team in limiting their their opponents. And itong LPU, one of the best transition defending teams in the NCAA. Itura drives baseline. Omega takes the perimeter jumper, overcooks it, back to LPU. So after two teams scoring their first two points in less than a minute, in the past minute or so now, almost two minutes, these two teams, sluggish, not converting their shots. Ball goes back to Perpetual. Now, let's go to our first quarter report of Hannah Arguelles. And Hannah was able to talk to team captain Enoch Valdez. I want to hear her first quarter report. Good afternoon, Hannah. Good afternoon, Andre. If there is a team to beat in the NCAA, it is the steady and hungry LBU Pirates who just came off a streak ending win against the Benilde Blazers. At nang makausap ko ang team captain ng LBU Pirates na si Enoch Valdez, patungkol sa tuloy-tuloy na panalo ng kanyang kuponan, ang sabi niya, what's happening to us right now is something we deserve. Sobrang dami na naming sakripisyo dito. I'm not surprised about our streak. Yan ang confident na sagot ng head pirate. Dagdag niya pa na kahit siya naging player of the game in their most recent matchup, hindi ito importante sa kanya. Ang importante daw ay siya maging mas consistent in every game at ibigay ang kanyang 101%. Sabi nga nila, the battle of getting better is never ending. Right, Andre and Coach Hammer? Well, that is correct. Enoch, 15 points, 6 boards, 3 steals. Thank you, Hannah, for that excellent first quarter report. And later on, Coach Hammer had a request for Hannah to speak to uh, LPU's team psychologist, Marcus Manalo, and I believe that report will be in the second period. Meantime, the score is still at two all with three minutes elapsing here in the first quarter. Turnover there for LPU. Apologies all around. And look at Coach Gilbert, chill, umiinom lang ng kape. I uh -huh. actually asked him kanina, Coach, five game winning streak. Bakit di kayo kinakabahan? Bakit relax lang? Sabi niya, yeah, relax lang kami. Well, yun ang naging character ng kuponan ng LBU. They've been even killed 
throughout the tournament. Kahit na they are behind big in the fourth quarter, they uh, they trust the system and they know that their process will take care of business. Valdez still hasn't scored here. Roque gets called for the foul. And I believe Coach Gilbert will call a timeout, but let's head courtside. After the break, I will bring in Christine. Inabutan ka, Tina. Well, she'll open up the after the after the break after this timeout. We will hear from Christine San Agustin, who was able to speak to June Rock earlier about their three wins in a row. Stay tuned, dito lamang sa GTV. Welcome back, mga kapuso. You are still watching NCAA Season 99 today. It's the LPU Pirates versus the Perpetual Altas. As for the Perpetual Altas side, three consecutive wins are definitely one for the books. But as historic as that may sound, na ikwento sa akin kanina ni June Roque ang history behind that back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back win. Ang sabi niya, nagsimula daw talaga ang lahat ng yan nung sinalan sila ni Coach Mike Sagigit after their win against Arellano. Sabi ni Coach, siyampa lang yan ang dalawang sunod na pagkapanalo. Kaya naman, kung matunto nila ang pangatlo, which they did, doon, tunay nakita ni Coach ang eagerness nilang umakyat patungong Final Four. Andre and Coach Hammer naging epektibo ang challenge na ni Coach kaya sinigurado ni June Roque na ang makikita natin na June Roque ngayon ay ang mas agresibo at desiditong maiuwi ang panalo. Yan muna para sa side ng mga Alters. Balik sa inyo. Maraming salamat sa iyo, Ken. Right on cue, June Roque, one of the players that uh, you feel is very important yep. for perpetual laban lang. Yep. Sinang dalawa ni uh, Cyrus Nitura, talagang sa kanila umiigod yung offense ng team na to. Because they have guys that would crash the boards and get extra possessions. Wow. Gael Montaño with a post-up action. Again, scoring on the post. Kanina off a timeout, they went straight to Sean O'Malley for a jump hook. Trying to get that quickness and size advantage underneath the basket for them. Well, the score is 6-4, but before that timeout earlier, Perpetual was one out of five of the field. Sa Matala, LPU naman one of six. And since then, two of six na Perpetual, three of eight na ang LPU. We're tied at six all. They go down low again on the post to Umali against Omega. And Umali just muscling his way inside. Four points now for Big Sean. Saka sanay magbantayan yung dalawang yan, Dre. Because they were teammates in high school for the Squires. And then now, a little brotherly competition. Yeah, but look at that stroke from Cyrus Nedura. It's now back and forth, back and forth affair. <laughs> mo, Andre, what you can do, oh, we can do too. Exactly. Itong team na to, itong Perpetual Altas, they might be the most athletic team in the NCAA. Wow. They are the most athletic, strong, individually athletic, and go up there with rebounds. Pero ngayon, minamama sila, inaatrasan sila ng inaatrasan, which is surprising for me, ha? Dahil makukunat to, eh, pagdating sa one-on-one -on -one defense. Oh, here's Enoch. Sees an opening. He takes off, gets the foul, and one for team captain Enoch Valdez. And uh, ito naman yung isa rin sa mga pinaka-athletic na teams led by one of our more dynamic players na si Enoch Valdez. Ito naman yung athleticism ng LPU is up and down. Kumbaga, north to south. Yung perpetual kasi east to west, north south eh. <laughs> so natural natural athletes yung mga players nila eh. Kasi, babalikan mo, Enoch Valdez is genetically gifted eh. Nakikita natin, very athletic. Going to his right, vertically, ang taas tumalun. Yung perpetual naman, ganun din eh. Ganun din mga players nila. Nakikita natin, June Roque had a lot of highlight dunks this season. Saka lalakas ng katawan. I mean, no, tingnan mo, yung rotation nila, Boral, na wing player. Ito naman, nakaagaw ang LPU. 
Oh, almost, but not quite. Barba cannot convert, but Enoch Valdez is there to do the cleanup. LPU with a five-point lead, all thanks to Enoch Valdez. All five points coming from him. Sinagot naman sa kabila. Christian Pagangan, Valdez was Uy. able to catch the ball. Now, that was a uh, interesting call. Kasi full speed eh. Sumenyas na si Enoch after this basket. Tingnan mo, of this drum pass kay Chris Pagaran. Lumik out na agad si Enoch Valdez. And he was signaling. A head pass na agad. And he was running full speed. Hindi pa siya nababump ni Nitura. Off the catch. Flipping it up. Earning two free throws. And that's an effort play. Puro effort plays. Diyan mahirap kalaban ng LPU. And itong dalawang teams na to, parehas na effort teams. Kaya magandang matchup. Dagdag mo pa yung winning streaks. Dagdag mo pa na both of them trying to stack up wins going to the Final Four. Valdez perfect at the line so far, but this season is up and down for him at the line. 60% free throw shooter has made all his 35 attempts out of, uh, 35 free throws out of 58 attempts. But so far, so good for Valdez. Four of, uh, make that three of three today. Paisa-isa lang. Hindi naman sabay-sabay sinushoot yun eh. Paisa-isa lang. Shoot mo lang muna yung isa. A good drive inside. And Bokal will head to the line for two. Kita mo, Dre, pagka nabibigyan ng pasa sa ilalim, talagang dinidiin nila yung katawan nila dun sa bantay. If you look at this, Dre, kasi yung iba magsisettle for a floater or a jumper, ito, kita mo, pagka nakukuha ng bigs ng perpetual sa ilalim, they catch it and, and they really look for that contact. Foul called on John Verzosa. Rizosa rarely gets uh, much playing time as well, this will just be his 10th uh, game play this season. Pero kung bukuha din ng bola to. Silang dalawa ni Umandak yung pinagsasabay kasi si Umandak naman, perimeter shooter. Ang dami niyang binitawa na big shots against St. Benilt in that fourth quarter. And look at his belt. Umandak is also one of those guys who just does the dirty work, sets the screens, Gets the boards and he can also hit that perimeter J. Hello, I see my big goalie. Barca inside. So cannot convert that layup. Abyss. Razon now in. Tumatakbo ni Tura. Extra pass. Good transition play basic. here for the Altas. Basic, basic. Pass it to the middle. Run your lanes and expect a pass if you're near the basket. Good decision by Saini Tura. And now LPU executing their offense. Meditation. Oh. Pick and roll anticipated by the Altas. Matakbo na naman ang Perps. Nedura, short snap, in and out. Abyss, back to Nedura. This time, make sure he gets that one up and in. You gotta throw a body at the Perpetual Altas dahil they're the number one offensive rebounding team. And si Nedura, number three. When it comes to offensive rebounding, averaging three a game. Omega, number one. Our fifth deadlock, not for long as Barba charges throw after missing his first two attempts. John Barba getting that one up and in. Puts LPU slightly ahead by two with 2.36 to go. Tumutok lamang dito sa GTV. As he said, on top of the coverage, these two teams on their own winning streaks for Bethel, riding on a three-game winning run. As for the LPU Pirates, on a five-game tear, for Bethel beating the San Beda Red Line 61 to 57 last Friday. As for LPU, also another heavyweight and a co-final four contender in the Benio Blazers 84-81 last Friday as well. That's why that got you excited to this yep. game. Because both these teams take down powerhouses last Friday. Well, qualifier, lagi ako excited kahit <laughs> <laughs> anong game. That's true ito, though. Tama Dre, naman. When it comes to this team, yes. 
Kasi itong perpetual, they need to win all their games just to sniff the final four. LPU gusto nilang pumunta with a twice to beat advantage. Ganun lang kasimple yun. And they want to prove that they can contend with the big boys. Taking care of Chris against the preseason number one. St. Vinil Blazers in the end game. Meanwhile, Jello Cazon lets it go. Bingo for his first three. And Drea, the past three games, yung tatlong sunod na panalo ng Perpetual. Jello Razon has been playing really well, not only offensively, ah, pero most especially defensively. Pumake up yung depensa niya. Good pass. And then Razon, the pass. That was stopped. Good interior defense by the Pirates. Stop Bagaran from getting that easy two. Let's go back to that last play. The kick out by Nidura to Razon, who hits it from way beyond the three point line. Uh -huh. Knocking down his first three and the game's first triple. Who also hit crucial shots against San Beda. That low scoring ball game. Yun. Final two minutes, Jello Razon taking care of business as we see Sai Nidura banking it on that sweet jumper. Now Perpetual takes the advantage. 2017, a minute 30 to go here in the first period. Good drop pass, Barba after missing his first two layups. Now knocking down two field goals. Four Alam points ko, off the bench. Dre, namimiss mo yung Marcelino Twins. Oh, Pero yeah. kanina sinabi ko sa'yo, Villegas, Chatum Penafiel, pag nasa loob, kumay thunder and lightning yung mga kabila. Ito, Parang tsunami pag pumapasok, <laughs> talagang dire-diretso. Take a look at the Stein Nitura jumper using the glass. Ito itong dalawang to, itong Benefiel at saka itong Villegas. They, they disrupt your execution defensively. And pag umatake, buong buo yung loob. Actually, that's the thing with Coach Gilbert's lineup for the season. He has shock troopers who will just come in, you know, kahit ilang minuto lang yan, quality minutes. And that's the thing with LPU. For me, uh, they're one of the deepest, deepest. lineups. Hindi pa ginagamit si Mac Guadagna. That's right. Oh, Hindi pa ginagamit si Mac Guadagna. Yeah, they've, they've rotated 10 players now, and they have the luxury of having players who believe in the system na isa lang yung pace, pre. Diin lang tayo. Pagkagising pa lang sa umaga, nakatiin na yung mga yan. Ramdam mo eh. Ramdam mo, Dre eh. Yeah, uh, I, it's, it's re I am really lucky to cover this stretch run nila. How about Umanda from way downtown? Oh, yeah, yeah, by the board. Yeah. Barba, 12 to work with on the shot clock. Barba attacks, gets blocked from behind. Six to go, Umanda will let it fly again. And it's a bullseye for General and Umanda. And that's a confidence of Umanda who I misses think, uh, first do? three. But, sabi na, give me the ball, I'll take it again. But how about Jello Razon, now with five off the bench. High scoring first quarter tayo, Dre, totally different from what we expected from these two defensive teams. Dahil ang perpetual, they like to disrupt you. Ang LPU, they also like to disrupt. Umandak again! Yes, baka sa tres! Back-to-back -back threes for Jero Lano Mandak. He's been shooting lights out from three-point range. 29.8% three-point shooter is Umandak for the season. And he ends the first for LPU with a one-point lead thanks to his two threes. 25-24, second quarter.